All right, this is kind of a big milestone for the Megasquirt build because we hooked it up to the computer and it's powered up. Well, it's not powered up right now, but when I put this key in the ignition, it will be. So let me move this down and uh, this is the relay board that I was showing you and it's all hooked up, integrated the way I said it would. Uh, I went, you know, I just labeled everything, you know, just the wires that are kind of just floating through the firewall, not really in the harness. But it's all there. There's a big coil of unused wires um, at the back of the uh, foot footwell area, and a bunch of just jumbled wires for wideband because they gave me like a hundred feet of this stuff snaking all over the place. Anyway, uh, what I'm gonna show you is what happens when, I guess, like how it talks to the computer and that cool relay clicking noise from like all those relays coming out at the same time. So I'm gonna put the key in and turn it to run. And just hear those relays click. Uh, camera, cameraman failure. There you go. And then the fuel pump relay. And there you go. And as I did that, let me turn this light off. We have access to Tuner Studio. This is just the default view. Um, just kind of the, the, the basic gauges, I guess, that you would want to see if you were just tuning for the first time. Nothing's really hooked up in the engine bay except for like the map sensor. Uh, so besides that, these are all just like like lying to my face. Like you know, that's not even hooked up. That's pretty much it. Uh, and then when you turn the key off, let's see, it'll just say it's offline. Oh, idiot! All right, there, offline. That's pretty much it. It's a uh, really exciting. It's next thing to do is going to be to hook up the Hall effect. And that's over here somewhere. This awesome, totally not messy workspace. Uh, this guy, this ghetto little bracket I made, this will just have to be hooked up to this, this little three pin. And then that'll go right in there. And then hopefully tomorrow, actually, I'm going out of town for a couple days, but next time I'll be firing the engine over using the DME and the stock harness and injectors and all. But running Megasquirt in piggyback mode just to make sure um, that I'm getting a clean RPM signal. Because without an RPM signal, you're not doing anything. So that's pretty much it. Uh, obviously, this isn't hooked up. This TPS connector still got the, the rest of it over there. But uh, just cleaning up once I, once I verify that all sensors work, this is all going to be you know, taped and then put that conduit over it to make it look presentable. And that's all for today. I'm going to go... Uh, come back to this in a couple days and hopefully make some more progress.